enemy sentry active. Taking Alpha. Losing Bravo. Assaulting B. Taking A. What? Control. Our reputation's built on victory. Alright, so as everybody knows, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it will be out on the 25th of October. So it's only appropriate now that we say goodbye to Black Ops 4. The clips at the beginning, which is some good moments and some bad moments. Because you know what, with any game that you play, there is always going to be a good moment and a bad moment. Unfortunately, Black Ops seems like there was a lot of bad moments. But, I enjoyed the game, all in all. We did punches only, we did guns, I mean, the problem with it all was that there is this thing that, oop, oop, forgot how to play, it's been a while. Basically called the Fortnite effect, where games that don't push out 
content, new things every week, or as opposed, you know, you know, every day, every other day, they suffer from it. Understandably, though, you want, I mean, it's obvious that you would want more and more for the game that you purchased, motherfucker, the game that you just purchased, but, listen, when it's all said and done, you remember only the good times, and I had some great, I had some good times in Black Ops 4, but, Modern Warfare is coming, come here, yo, I'll get this guy. Could have been, you know, a great game. And not to say it wasn't. I'm not trying to I'm not here to shit on it. It's it's in its dying days. You know, it's over. We got I'm sure Modern Warfare is going to be a good game. If they actually keep up with what they say with the constant updates and the you know, so many different things you could do, the no microtransactions, of course it will be good if that's the case. But you know, Black Ops 4 could have been successful in, in many different ways if they uh I feel like if they just kept updating the game, they kept adding stuff, especially in terms of multiplayer, it was kind of like not really focused. You could tell Black Blackout was the most focused, and even that felt like it wasn't even focused that much. It felt like the game almost was like abandoned the entire time, but it did have potential. And not to say it wasn't a good game, because I enjoyed it a ton. I wouldn't be making content, as, <laughs> I'd be content, 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 content if I didn't. Bro, do you not see this right now? <laughs> And I am forever grateful because I put out a goal to hit punches only, Prestige Master, and I did it. So I can't take that away from Black Ops 4. It was the game I did it on. I hit a thousand subscribers on Black Ops 4. It was like a dream come true at this shit. Yo, I'm on like a, a almost like a 10. Am I going for a nuclear right now without even realizing it? Modern Warfare, if you see this video, decide to watch this video or anything. The frequent updates! will do you greatly with adding new weapons adding new s skins or calling what just oh i'm dead come on man i got killed in my own game you're already taking a step in the right direction with the no map packs and you're announcing there's no microtransactions i don't believe there's not gonna be no any microtransactions i feel like you can earn everything in the game but you know, theoretically, Black Ops 4, you could earn everything in-game, too. If you played a certain amount, you would have to grind your ass off. But you, if you got a certain amount of loot boxes, eventually, it would just... You would get everything in the game. When you're playing a game, and you just keep... And you don't really know what your reward is, it kind of makes it harder and harder. And I get it. Harder and harder to, uh... To have that motivation to keep grinding. What the sh When you make it clear... Oh, this is all my opinion. I might just be stupid. Ow. But, like, if you're grinding for loot boxes, you have less motivation than when you're grinding for, you know, the when the M M16 or, or whatever gun was coming out. You know what I mean? Also, to say that I felt like they didn't add a lot of... Come on! And, so, and they had to keep the playlists fresh. And I also feel like they should have kept the playlists. Say you're a huge fan of, uh, let's say, uh, Infected. And you can't play it some weeks. And it's, it's annoying. And I, I... What are you waiting for? Bro, stop with this. Stop! Oh, what the shit? No way! How did he do that? He's helping me. Did you just hump my dead body? Childish. I shit on the game. I made, you know, I'll never forget the, you know, sudden connection interrupted messages. Cause did I just get kicked? I'm not even in a f game, Call of Duty. It's Five months after launch, and you still can't fix the f problem. How? I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought it was good. The first Call of Duty to never have a campaign. The first Call of Duty to introduce a battle royale mode. And the first Call of Duty that I actually hit Master Prestige on. And I hit it twice. You know, when you think about it, when you're playing this too, a ton of the maps were all recycled maps. I'm not against, as you the term, you know, recycling maps, but the game should feel fresh as well as you should have some nostalgia, some, some nostalgic feelings, I feel. But when it starts to come out, you know, when it starts to take away from the new, from the game's feel new, it then starts feeling like it's recycled. The map pack was kind of just, come on! The map pack was kind of a scam. You didn't get, you barely got any maps. Victory Screech! Modern Warfare coming out, and there's going to be a load of shit to do. I am going to make the prediction right now 
that Modern Warfare will be as big as Fortnite. Now, I'm sad to say it. I'm sad to say it now, but this will be my last Black Ops 4 video. Black Ops 4 trade arc, if you guys watch this, the game was good. You just needed to be on top of it more. For example, you added contracts way too late. It should have been at launch. A ton of things should have been at launch. This playlist wasn't good enough. These two playlists, you needed to add more. The final stats for now. We had some good times from connections interrupted to just a ton of lag, a ton of bullshit to hitting this milestone for me, Prestige Master. Punches only. I have eight days, seven hours, and 36 seconds played on this account. On my other account, I probably played about seven days. I'll let me show you my guns, only one. I was right. I hit Prestige Master on this account too. Had seven days played, five hours, four minutes, and 48 seconds played on this account. Prestige Master. This is my account that I use guns on, as you can see. For, for a game that felt like there wasn't that many con things to do, they did add a good amount. Not uh, Like, they added guns, but they call, there's always room for improvement. Wow, I kind of sucked on this account. <laughs> I felt, in my opinion, guns were balanced. Accessories were pointless. Death effects were kind of cool, not gonna lie. Reactive camos I thought were pretty cool. Gotta say goodbye, you know? It's, it's time. It's time to say goodbye. Prestige Master twice. I'm sorry, Black Ops 4. But you have to go. I've had too much time with you. I need modern warfare. Let me know down in the comments what you think Black Ops 4 could have done better. What you think... Hmm. How will Modern Warfare go? I think I'm trying to ask. Like, how will it play out? Will people like it? What do they have to do to make people like it? You let me know down there. Try not to get emotional. Black Ops 4, you did me... You did me dirty a lot of times, but you also did me great sometimes. Got a thousand subscribers going into Modern Warfare. Let's get this, man. Let's get this. It has been a pleasure, Black Ops 4. I love you so much. It's time for Modern Warfare.